Hi Parker family. I was just going to let you know that this week is going to be a special week for art class. I'm going to let my friend teach for me, so you'll have to be patient with him. But I think that you will enjoy his lesson. We're going to make a pop-up card. So you're going to need to think about who you would like to make your pop-up card for. And you will need two pieces of paper. You'll need a pencil. You'll need some scissors. And if you can get some, some kind of colors for your paper. All right, see you next week. I can't wait to see all of your creations. Bye, guys. Hi, Parker Chiefs. Bob Ross here. I hope that you are as excited as I am to do some art today. Miss Hoke is allowing me to go ahead and teach her class today, and I'm super excited about it. I found a lesson that's perfect for you today and for the superheroes in your life. As you know, we're all in quarantine right now. Normally I'd be wearing a nice crisp button down shirt, but who are we kidding? We're not dressing up right now. I thought I'd just be me today and wear my Harry Potter shirt. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I hope you are too. Without further ado, let's talk about what lesson we're going to do today. We are going to make a pop-up card. I am so excited about this today because it has some things that we're gonna talk about. It has the foreground, which is this part in the front, and then it has the background. On the bottom here, you can write a note to your superhero, but you, there are going to be lots of different ways that you can change up your superhero and your background and what's in front. I hope you're excited. I know that I am. Before I forget, you can watch all Bob Ross videos on YouTube for free. You can learn to paint like me. Check it out. It might be kind of fun. So, without further ado, let's get started on our superhero card. All right, so let's get started. Remember, this is our end goal. We need to have a background. We need to have a foreground. And then we need to have a space for writing our letter. You will need two pieces of paper, scissors. Hopefully you have scissors. If you don't, you can tear your paper. Some kind of glue or tape. And then some kind of colors. In my case, I am using markers, but if you don't have markers, you can use crayons, colored pencils, or you can just use a regular pencil and draw a black and white drawing. So, two papers, scissors, glue, and markers. Now, you're going to start off with one paper and you're going to hold it portrait style, so that means up and down. I'm going to fold it in half. Here is my, let me move this so that you can see. I'm going to fold it in half. You can see here's my fold. Here's the top. Okay. Now, I am going to get some kind of color. Any color will work. And I am going to put my finger right here. Now my knuckle is right on the edge of the paper. And then the end of my finger is right there. And I'm gonna put a little, or I'm gonna use three fingers actually, so you know. So my three fingers are here. You can see my knuckles are right there on the edge. On that third finger right at the tip, I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Three fingers. And 
and a dot. Go ahead and do that really quickly. Make sure you're caught up. I got the idea from this lesson from an artist, an art teacher named Cassie Stevens. She's really cool. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to carefully cut from the fold. Remember, my paper opens up this way from the fold up to the up to the dot, a straight line. Right there. See that it opens up right here. And then right there. So I have two cuts on the fold. I'm going to take my cut piece. I'm going to fold it up. This is the hardest part right here. Once you're done with this, easy breezy. So that my paper looks like this. We kind of call this the garage door. It can kind of come up and down. All right, now I'm going to open up my paper and you can see that I now have this space right here in the middle that is a rectangle space. I'm going to push from the back and I'm gonna crease it right down that middle part right there. And then I'll close the whole thing. So now it looks like there's a chunk missing from my paper. And when I open it up, I have this almost table shape right here in the middle. And that's what I want. This is what's going to make my pop-up work. Now, I'm going to pick a side. Either side, doesn't matter. And I am going to use that side as my background. Now, my background switch colors so y'all can see better. My background is going to be the sky. It's going to be the sky. I can draw whatever I want in my sky. It could be clouds. It could be the night sky. It could be daytime but I need to have the whole space filled up. In this case, I drew a famous painting by Vincent Van Gogh that you should all remember. We've talked about it. You've seen it in Miss Hoke's classroom and it's called A Starry Night. Now you don't have to draw a famous painting. You could just draw a sky. In this case, since I drew nighttime the last time, I'm going to draw daytime. And we can go ahead and use our colors. You don't have to use a pencil unless that is the only thing you have to draw with. If that is the case, it's totally fine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I can make this pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some clouds in the sky. I'm going to go through and I'm going to start coloring. Now, normally Miss Hook would say no ghosties, but I know that y'all do not want to spend the entire time watching me color. So I'm going to color quickly and you are going to do a much, much better job than I am. Crayons will work. Markers will work. If you have chalk, that would work. And then you could even blend your colors together. That would be nice for a nice sunset. Oh man, look at all those ghosties. I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm not gonna color on this part right here, my, my table, because that's gonna get covered up. 
If I go on to it a little bit, that's okay. All right, so there's part of my sky. Now, it would not be a Bob Ross episode if I did not include little happy trees. <clears throat> so I'm going to include some little happy trees. Again, you do not have to, but you need to have something interesting in your background. I'm gonna put one over there. Maybe do one that you can see the top of the tree. Happy little tree coming out over here. Maybe one big tree coming over here. I know you guys are taking your time. And at any time, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause this. I'm going to put a mountain in my background because why not? So I'm going to draw some mountains right here. I'm going to draw purple ones because purple mountains, majesty. Okay, and then I'm going to draw some happy little birds flying around. Give yourself a minute or two to finish up your background. Again, if you need to pause, you can. <clears throat> Once you are done, then you can move down to the bottom half of your paper. And now I want you to remember you are making this for a superhero in your life. It could be anyone. It could be your parents, your mom, your dad, your brother. It could be a doctor or a nurse, any of our first responders. It could be your teachers. It could be anybody, grandparents, your neighbors, somebody that you would like to bring a smile to on this day. Now, on my other picture, my other pop-up card, I did this kind of a design, which is like a zigzag kind of a pow design. On this particular one, I'm going to do a cloud design. I want to make it big enough to where I have lots of space to write. And then I'm going to continue coloring down here a different color. And I'm going to color up until this other spot so that the whole thing is or actually no it doesn't have to be i'm sorry i said that wrong i'm going to draw a line start right here with the bottom of my table i'm going to continue my line all the way across so now i have to fill in the rest of that space so go ahead, color in the rest of your space. Just like so. Keep going. Not yet, strummer. Not yet. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go around. I'm going to get as close to that as I can. And then I'm going to go back and finish it. Miss Hoke, let me borrow these awesome smelly markers. I can smell banana right now. Although I keep thinking that the yellow should smell like a lemon. These are my... These are Miss Hoke's Mr. Sketch Markers. You can get these online from Amazon. 
They color really nicely. So there is that, as Miss Hoke likes to say, don't leave any ghosties. So now I have my top and bottom portion of my card done. I can take this, and again, if you have run out of time, or run out, you don't have enough time to finish, you can always pause this video. I'm gonna let it dry. I can fold it like this, or I can leave it flat somewhere else. And I'm gonna get my other piece of paper. Again, I am going to do it portrait style so that the shorter end is facing me. And I'm going to start drawing a cityscape. Now remember, cities, when we draw these, are just different shapes. So I'm gonna start right here in this corner. I'm gonna draw my line over whoop, and go down. Ooh. Now every building downtown is a different shape. So I can make this one a different shape. Why not? I'm gonna keep doing this. I can go all the way across some of my buildings are shorter. Some of them are tall. I don't want to go too tall because they're going to have to fit in my card. And so I have buildings that go all the way across. Then I'm going to start drawing some windows in my buildings. I'm not going to color in. So in each building, we're going to have different types of windows. You can draw all different kinds. Maybe this one has shutters. Maybe I could do it like every other one. Very nice, very nice. And then maybe this one can just have these kind of windows. Mommy, am I done? Yes. How long have I done? I don't know. Have you seen Kitty Cat? So I'm gonna color some of these windows in so that it looks like I'm trying to conserve electricity. Not everybody is in all the windows. <coughs> Do the same over here. If I wanted to add an interesting roof on one, that would be fine too. But keep in mind, you're gonna have to cut this out so you don't wanna make it super hard to cut out. Now that I have finished this, 
I'm going to draw my superhero and it's going to be either a girl superhero or a boy superhero. Either is fine, but I'm going to draw it pretty simple. I'm going to draw up here above my city. I'm going to cut all of this out so it doesn't really matter, okay? So I'm gonna start with a circle. I don't wanna make them super big because I'm gonna have to attach them. Could be funny though if you had something super big, but you still wanna see your background a little bit. And then this one, I drew a girl and she has buns, but you see she's very simple. This time I'm gonna draw a boy just because to switch it up. So I'm going to put ears and then some hair. Again, remember simple. So little lines like that for their eyes. Now I'm going to draw <coughs> a line that goes straight back at a diagonal angle. So here it goes like that. I'm going to draw another line starting right underneath their ear. And then I'm gonna connect them and make it a wiggly line and that's the superhero cape. Superheroes usually when they fly have their arms out in front of them. So here's one arm. And then their other arm, I'm gonna to try to connect to the cape. I'm going to put a line here and a line here to look like they have some kind of shirt on. I'm gonna start right about in the, like right around their armpit area. I'm going to bring another angle out and then the letter U bring it up and over and then do the same thing coming out over here then I'm going to attach boots to my person and there's my person I'll put my girl up here too as well so that you can see her if you would like to look at either one and again this is your own person you decide what they look like. I'm gonna go ahead and color them. Usually a superhero only has two or three colors on them. They don't have a lot of colors. My superhero is gonna be green. There is no wrong color for a superhero. I think I will color my superhero the opposite color of green so that they will pop, complementary color. If you get outside of the lines a little bit, that's okay. But there's my superhero. I don't have any skin tones at my house. So if you don't, you can leave them the color of the paper or if you want to color and maybe put a mask on them, that's totally fine, it's up to you. Okay, the next step, and if you need to pause, you can. The next step is that we're gonna cut out our superhero and our city. So all you're gonna do is cut them out if you accidentally cut off a piece, you can glue it back together pretty easily. I'm not gonna make you watch all of this, 
I'm going to pause and then come right back and then I will have it cut out. You continue. All right. So I now have my city cut out and my superhero cut out. I'm going to get my picture that I made earlier. And remember talking about this table. We can make it flat really quickly. I'm going to get some glue. If you do not have glue, use a glue stick, which is what I have. If you do not have glue stick, use some tape, okay? If you don't have that, be creative. See if you can figure out a way to attach it to your paper. Maybe you have a paper clip or something like that. I'm only going to glue on this section down here. I am not gluing on this section right here. Just say no. No glue, glue. No glue, glue. So glue only on the bottom. And I need a pretty good amount of glue stick. You should not need a lot of glue, remember? Just a dot or two will do. So here is my glue on my paper. Now I'm gonna get my city, and this is very important. I'm going to line my city up right here. So the edge of my city is going to touch the edge of my paper. And then I'm gonna give it a little massage. So I'm massaging it into its space. Now, when I sit this up, you can see that now my city stands up. Okay, now, I want to put my superhero on here. So I'm gonna get my superhero. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue or something sticky, like tape, on him or her. And I'm going to make them fly like an eagle through the sea. Here we go. If I need to put glue on another space, I can. So now it looks like my superhero is flying. And that, my friends, is the hardest part. It's, we're done with all the hard parts, okay? Now, when I look back, if I look here, I like the way that looks. I can't see my happy trees, but that's okay. I can always make, go back and make them taller, make them shorter, whatever I need. This space down here is saved for you to write your message. Now, when you send a picture of this to Miss Hoke, Miss Hope doesn't have to see this. This can be a super secret part. I'm not interested in this. I just wanna see that you tried your best and you made your card the best that you could. But this down here is gonna be for your message. So, and my other example looks like this. I wrote my message here. Remember, it's going to be uplifting. We want to bring joy to someone while we are in quarantine during this time. So I think this time I'm gonna write a message to my friend Strummer, but I'll write that later. So these, my friends, are our finished products. So when you're done, they should stand up. If they don't stand up, you may have to work on your creases a little bit more, but they should look like this. Something like this. I can't wait to see your finished products. Remember, when you submit these to Miss Hoke's class, her Google Classroom, that you can upload a picture and then you mark done so that Miss Hoke can see that you have done it. Thanks so much and check out Bob Ross's videos on YouTube. You can learn to paint from me. Bye guys. Have a great week. Miss Hoke says bye-bye.